Now welcome. Well, three, two, one, action! And welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I t t was in, the, in a moment a couple nights ago, and I thought, you know, I haven't played and demonstrated uh, uh, this beautiful, magnificent instrument, and I wanted to show it off. And, and rather than waiting, I just figured I'll just put an email out to some bunch of people and see who shows up. And whoever shows up, I'll have a little fun. This is the Lowry Rialto. I'll give you a little bit of history about it in just a minute. But I'm going to open up with a fun number here. Uh, I'll do a little, maybe a little medley. Um, uh, it's, the, it's a style that was actually originally introduced on uh, the Liberty and subsequently on the Marquis, of course. And it's just real fun style. It's called Wabash Brass. We're going to have some fun with us to open up. And then we'll take you on a nice little musical tour today. And uh, we'll have some fun. Here we go. Thank you, thank you. That's a great opening. That's always something to get your blue, ugh, your blood flowing there. Um, but <clears throat> I was just hollering at Victor here to get me a songbook because there's a couple songs I noticed as I was looking at this magnificent instrument and the styles. And, oh, I got to play that one. I'm going to need the music for that. So I'm going to reach over for that a couple times. This is the Lowry Rialto, and it's a a uh, fabulous instrument, and I'll t tell you why we did so well with this model uh, when it was introduced. Um, the, before the Rialto, there have been many, many great flagship models over the years. Uh, Sterlings, Patriots, uh, Prestiges, uh, Inspires. And when the Inspire came out, it was kind of a, it was, I think it opened up Lowry's eyes because um, what happened was we found a lot of folks that were really uh, encouraged by the Inspire, um, not by the Inspire to purchase the Inspire as well, but to own one because it, it did two things. Besides all the wonderful stuff, there were two things that it had that made it possible. It had, it, first of all, it had all of these wonderful features for some of the top-of-the-line models, but in a smaller size and a smaller price range. And we did very well with that. And um, after a couple, two or three years, whatever the time frame was, Lowry decided we need to do that, repeat that again. And they were very clever when they did this because all they did is they took the cabinet, a footprint that was already successful um, that uh, Lowry had, uh, basically, this cabinet is identical to the Inspire, and it was a very successful cabinet in the cosmetic and footprint. And they said, let's go one step beyond and take stuff from the, the models like the Lowry Marquis and put this and put some of the best features and sounds on the Rialto. And they also went in and they 
they basically re-engineer the whole sound system. Unfortunately, I may not be able to demonstrate that through uh, the internet, but I can tell you, you'll feel it because as I'm playing this, I'm going to be, uh, you're going to see some reactions and I'm just blown away by the sound that I'm hearing. Cosmetically, I want to tell you, I told you it had a similar footprint to that of the um, Lowry Inspire because of the size. However, um, the ease of the operation, uh, the functionality was, the, the, so far, this has been the easiest model, this footprint, to operate. So we still have, of course, the roll top on it that you want to keep. We also have the one, one factor. <laughs> this, to me, was a little factor that was a big deal. But you'll notice here, this has an additional piece to it now. So instead of our music in the back here, we have the rack extender, just like all of our other flagship models. But what you're going to notice is, if I was to play, you know, any song here, let's just put one up on this. I'll play this one a little bit later. But um, you know, if I put in the music on the on the music rack, it actually brings the music. I have to scoot in here. It brings it very close, and it doesn't interfere with the panel at all. Now, I always question Lowry. I said, can't you get it to come closer, closer, closer on every model? I always say, they say, yeah, we can get it as close, as close to the face, but then it would be a chin rest, and we didn't want to do that. And then you wouldn't be able to see the panel. But cosmetically, they came up with the most elegant style cabinet, a very easy-to-use panel, um, the, the silver panel, uh, with the back type on it. The screen, um, they have actually different screen modes on this one. I love the mode. You may not see the exact print just because I can't zoom in, but you could see from there that this dark screen with the yellow print makes it extremely easy for anyone to be able to see everything that's happening in the screen. But I'm going to tell you, a lot of the magic is going to happen today. You're going to see me reaching up here a lot to this button called Mix. Now, some models have that button. However, the Rialto, they made it very easy. The Rialto, when I touch Mix and I go backwards to the last two pages here, the last two pages represent all of the new styles that were introduced from the Marquee uh, and the Liberty. And you're going to hear a lot of those. And the beauty of that is these styles also introduce us a lot of the new sounds that you're going to hear today, too, plus some other category setups, and we're just going to have loads of fun with a lot of uh, phenomenal features and sounds. So I'm going to go to that mix page, and I'm going to go to the last two pages here, and I, I'm just looking on here, and I'm thinking, I wish I had two or three hours, because there's so many wonderful styles on here that are absolutely gorgeous. Um, actually, I'm going to do this one here. This one's fun. I featured this style on uh, a lot of the, in some of the classes. And a lot of people don't know this, but this actually originated from the Lowry Marquis. And it's a style that's called Cab Array. And so I'm going to play the song Cab Array. Actually, I think it's pronounced Cab Array. But, and just note for note, and this is the exact arrangement when that song was uh, a big hit. Here we go. Thank you. 
actually just gorgeous styles on here that uh, really made those instruments, uh, the marquee, what it was, and, and a phenomenal instrument at its time. And speaking of marquee, I'm going to actually go to my marquee book, okay? This was my cheat sheet book, cheat sheet book, this was my cheat book, if you will, that had all sorts of easy play songs, and there's cabarets, you see all my little notes in them. And one of the styles that I fell in love with that you don't hear often, unfortunately, simply because it's, it's only on a few models. And there's a lot of folks that love the sound of the piano, which is why we have these gorgeous piano styles. And there was a song, a style, that was introduced on the marquee. And it's one of the new piano styles, and just absolutely gorgeous. And the style is called Always in Mind. The song I'm going to play is Always on My Mind. So I'm just going to put that on. Just a simple rhythm preset. And, um, oh my goodness, this I forgot how wonderful this I'm looking at the screen, the setups that they have here. Absolutely gorgeous. So here we go. Just a simple introduction. It's in the key of C. Thank goodness. Here we go. put it on my gallery view and see I want to see some hands up in the air like that come on let me see you do it all right thank you so it's just really some gorgeous styles now a lot I, every now and then I'll meet someone nowadays and they'll say what well, was so great about the marquee because we don't have the marquee anymore and and I'd have to say well gosh you have a couple of hours and you're hearing why the marquee was so successful. They chose the right styles that most people would love with the perfect settings that I'm using right just on the keyboard here. And of course, what would an instrument like the marquee be without presets? And so the Rialto has it as well. So I'm gonna go to the category setup here. I'm gonna play some of these new sound effects. There's a whole page of them here. I'm going to play a couple of them for you. One of them is uh, actually, this is absolutely amazing because if you want to play some romantic songs, but I'm going to do something a little bit different here. 
<clears throat> one of the features that was introduced on uh, the Inspire and the Liberty, and then obviously the Marquee had a bunch of them, was a feature called MCS Plus. On here we have two MCS Pluses, and I'm going to use both of these. Uh, the new one is great because it does a six note chord with one finger. Now imagine that. Think about that. Six notes. Even if you wanted to do it f with one hand, you don't have enough fingers to do it. So as an example, if you see me reaching up from time to time doing this as I'm playing, I'm turning on and off that feature so you could hear the difference. But here's, a, here's just a simple um, easy button with a F, G minor, just do whatever easy play chords you would normally do. And here's the new MCS Plus that came from the Lowry Marquee. Listen. Turn it off. On. So if I want to do something like turn it on. Just some some of the beautiful category presets. I've I've got a bunch I want to play, but I got to play one more because I mentioned a lot of people love the sound of pianos. This is a category that was taken off of the flagship models that really just gave those who love the sound of the piano some gorgeous piano sounds. And so they simply called this Pianos Plus, and this was a revised uh, set group of pianos settings that came from the Marquee starting with listen to this grand piano. Really gorgeous piano sounds on there. But back to my mix category. And we have, so as I was looking through here, again, some other wonderful styles. There's, of course, a wonderful style that a lot of people fell in love with that was inspired from the late, great uh, Glenn Campbell. In fact, let me just use my easy play music so I play it just as I see it. 
Uh, Gentle on my mind is the song that I want to play. The name of the style is called Gentle Mind. So they made it very easy to find. And when you hear this, you're going to hear the, the exact arrangement that uh, Glenn uh, Campbell did when he performed the song. Listen. phenomenal. By the way, a lot of these styles you're hearing, some of you have heard of an instrument called the symphony. These were the same, the reason why these are some of those styles were actually introduced and put on that symphony, simply because those were the ones that people just absolutely fell in love with. Now, we have another fun feature here um, that's absolutely phenomenal because for many years, I've, when, when the, the, many of you are familiar with the feature called Fake It. And Fake It was introduced originally on the Lowry Sterling for the very first time back in 2011 of February. And I remember I got to first see that show uh, with two fabulous artists that really demonstrated that instrument very well. And when that feature first came out, I thought, wow, finally a student can do improvisation just like some of the great staff members do in the artists. There was a sort of a downside to it at the time though, um, and that was it involved people having to make sure that they tapped out the notes properly. And, and as time went on, fake it evolved on some of the models. So for example, I put on a, a style here that I just absolutely love. Bring it back up on the screen there. By the way, if you keep seeing me reaching down here from time to time, it's because I'm pushing one or three. Those are my two favorite buttons. Three, as you guys know, it gives you the preset information. If you don't have that feature, <clears throat> I would encourage you to speak to one of the staff members as soon as we're done here. But what it does when I press it, it tells me the sounds. Um, I don't know what sounds I'm going to get before I press it, so I always ask the window. And then the other one tells me the styles that are on the screen, and that's how I get a lot of the new styles. So as I was pushing it, I ran into this other style here, and I'm going to play a song here, and I'm going to show you Fake It. It's kind of interesting because the first time Fake It came out, you had to play it like this. Tap out. All right, then you had it. Then they had it. Some of the instruments evolved where you could just hold the note and do the fake it. Well, now we have what's called auto fake it, and this is really great because if you're playing music, any song that you're playing, it's kind of hard to do it and play the chord for some students. Now we have the auto fake it. Now what I like to do is before I start a song, instead of just jumping into it. What I'll do is I'll get my introduction set up, put on the fake it, and then I'll do something like this to start off.
going to play the fake it button. This time, what I'm going to do, instead of holding it or tapping it, I just hit two black notes together and... Then you can do it on both keyboards at the same time. Now I know what you're thinking, wow, he's good. Yeah, I'm good at pressing fake it. And it'll also play along with it in the ending, too. Let's give that thing a big round of applause. Yay, Laura Rialto. Oh, this is such a wonderful instrument. Now I'll come back over to my uh, mix category here, play some other styles here that I actually fall in love with. Now, um, did I see Bart Jensen in the background there, Sean? Is that Bart Jensen? Yes, where are you? Let's spotlight the video on you for a moment. I gotta pick on Bart. He's on his own video, actually. You could do this. Here, hold on. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Might have to unmute. He doesn't have to say anything. He just, we just he's, need to he's, show He's got to unwire himself here yeah, now. He doesn't, he, he don't have to say anything. I just, I'm going to tell a story. Oh. Mute him. I'm going to, no, put him back on the screen. I got to tell a story about Bart. Oh, boy. All right. All I'm right. the one doing the show. Do what I say. Poor okay, guy. so Bart Jensen here. Uh, one thing I love about Bart is you're always going to hear it straight from Bart. Um, he, uh, and I think sometimes, one of, one of the things I loved about Bart working with him for, for, for I guess, years now, I, I could say, that we've worked together, is that he, uh, he uh, you, you know that he's going to be pretty upfront. Sometimes he'll say things up front before he thinks. And, uh, and it, come, it can come across as harsh or just, or just, you know, too in your face. But really, he's just being honest. And what, that's what I love about him. I don't know if you remember this, Bart, but in 2015 in May, I was the one who introduced the marquee. Remember that? I did all of the shows in Arizona. And at the time, John Riley wanted myself and two of the regionals in Florida to do them because they figured we know the products better and we're in the sales side, so it would be the best opportunity to showcase this instrument. So we did our shows and we did pretty well. The marquee was very easy to sell, of course, because all of these wonderful features. And after about the second or third show, he came, Bart comes up to me, he says, you know, Robert, that's a great show. You know, we're doing really well. And, you know, by the way, that song that you played is really good, but you're playing it wrong. And, and he didn't say it like, you're doing it wrong. Come on, get with it. It was kind of like you just, you was just telling me you're playing it wrong. And the song that I played was Downtown. I don't remember if I'm jogging his memory there, but I remember this. <clears throat> but I'm glad he told me this. And in that moment, I discovered a feature that the marquee had that subsequently has been put on certain models okay and it's built in by the way you, you don't have to look for it and what was happening is when i played downtown every time i got to this part of the song i don't know if you could see it right around here that part of the song and then especially on this page here with all of these notes I basically had a week to prepare for this uh, promotion, and, and I was having a hard time with that song. So what I did was I just muscled my way through it, to the and I played it to the best way I could. And what was happening was, is I didn't do this one little feature that Bart discovered immediately. And yes, I was playing it wrong because I, the timing and the phrasing wasn't quite right, and the background didn't sound right. And, I, and I, so I said, what do you mean? And he explained, he says, well, as you've been saying in the entire show, 
these instruments have so much memory capability in them that now rhythm styles have so much memory and capacity to do a full arrangement and then if you turn on the drum the fill-in whether you're using the fill-in or your foot switch it'll give you a whole different pattern to those songs instead of just a fill-in most rhythm styles when you touch a fill-in if you notice you hold them down for maybe four eight beats if you go any further than that it starts to what we call loop and, and it's not intended to well the, the the uniqueness of the marquee on the aria of those styles that if you hold the fill-in down on a lot of these styles they give you the whole part of the arrangement for those songs and all you have to do is play the song exactly as you see it so Bart does that jog your memory at all he's he nodding his head sure yes. does. he's laughing <coughs> He's laughing because he's like, well, back. let's see if he plays it right now. Because if he doesn't, I'll tell him he's playing it wrong. And the trick is just when I, I put a little star here so I wouldn't forget because I know Bart's here and, I, and I'm, now I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous. So I, like, I can't forget. All, the trick is actually, it's not even when you play it there, is if when I get to this part of the song, even if I miss it, I can wait as long as I want. It's the minute I hit the fill-in, then I just start playing the other part of the song. And it's hard to catch because when you hear the song in its original format, it's just a nice even flow, and that's what this does for us. So here we go. Uh, Downtown by Petula Clark, straight from the Lowry um, Marquee. And let me put on my style setup there. Introduction. All right, here we go. taken right from the marquee and you know what's the reason why I point that out is we tell people sometimes when you're learning a song play the melody how you hear the song have you heard the song and when I heard that part the way that worked I wanted to play the melody like I heard it it made it easier for me so just again some amazing styles and new sounds in here and of course I mentioned I wanted to play as many category setups there's some other category setups that I really absolutely fell in love with that was introduced on those high-end models. Uh, this one actually, this one is a special theater category that is designed for those who maybe just like some of those good old traditional theater tones. And I don't use the theater organs a lot, but when I do, I decide to use them for the songs that I really love to play, whether it's songs like Edelweiss or Unchained Melody, or Memory from Cats, uh, and just some gorgeous... I'll play a couple more category setups and then some other styles uh, that are just absolutely mind-boggling. Here's some of the new theater. This one's called Theater V, which stands for Theater Vogelman, um, who created these sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
absolutely gorgeous theater sounds. You can play them with theater music, you can play with ballads, you can play them with waltzes, you can play whatever you want. And then of course I love this new category setups. Now this was kind of interesting because it has great sounds that you can use for many songs and they give you some really special complimentary sound effects that go with those. And so for example, this one here, a lot of people say, how did you get that? And this is the category I use for that. And this one has these beautiful, we'll start off with a beautiful guitar. And you'll hear that nice little echo on there. Notice on the bottom, when I play the song theme from Ice Castle, I love to use this beautiful sound. course we're going to finish with this beautiful big symphony sound now by the way folks if you want to really impress your friends, do a Zoom thing like this. When you play, the trick is at the very end, you have to throw your hands in the air. And people are blown away by that hand motion. It looks like you're doing something extravagant. There's some gorgeous symphonic sounds, new, uh, all these new category setups. And of course, um, a lot of great uh, styles of music that were taken directly off of the marquee. I know I, it's, I keep saying marquee. They should have just called this a, a mini marquee, really, because that's what it is. It's a marquee in a small cabinet and it has all the great features but I'm going to play another one of my favorite styles here um, this one is called out there ballad and we're talking about symphonic sounds and a full orchestra you really hear it on this listen It's just some really some phenomenal sounds. And if you notice, I was using the Virtuoso here. Now, some models don't have it. The Rialto, they did introduce the Virtuoso with a few additions. Um, some people have the Virtuoso, 
are, you know, we can basically just do the virtuoso sound. Now we can actually program uh, more than just what the virtuoso does. We can do things like the fake it in the virtuoso. Um, we can do multiple things with the virtuoso. And you'll see me using that from time to time. And it also changes the sound for me automatically. Another one of my favorite styles on here, uh, taken directly off of the uh, marquee, you know, I, I played, I try to play a variety of styles of music. Um, sometimes I like the ballads, sometimes I like the big band stuff, the show tunes. But, you know, we have a lot of country music lovers out there. And this one, the name kind of says it all. Uh, the style is called Cheatin' Country. And uh, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, this is going to work perfect for it. Listen. styles there. Now, this style here to me was, I think, a very smart move on Lowry's part. It was a new uh, guitarist style. And if I play the song that, and when I say the name of the style, you're going to think, oh, okay, I know what song to play with that. But I'll tell you why it was very clever, because the arrangement of this, the way it's set up, gives me this gorgeous simple acoustic guitar player playing and if it were and if I play the song it's perfect for it and it's a beautiful song but if you ever one of those I don't know what to use kind of mindsets when you're playing a really nice slow um, song and you want something that has that really just great classic acoustic guitar sound background this is the style so you can use it many ways the style is called Love is Tender, and it starts off initially with this beautiful guitar sound on the upper keyboard and in the orchestration, and then we'll just use some of the other setups, and then watch how you can use this for many, many, many favorite songs. <laughs> Thank you. 
gorgeous, just a gorgeous style. Now, this is a group participation for this next song. And Sean, this is where you have to um, take the spotlight off of me and see if we can get the crowd, uh, at least in the recording of this. Um, because th I have a hard time doing this part of the song without people helping me out. Whether I can hear you or not, I'm, I want to be able to sense that you're doing the, the most important part of the song that everybody does. So here we go. I'm going to play that part, and I, I don't know if I'm going to turn my head, but Sean's going to keep an eye on you, and uh, I'm going to cancel the spotlight so that way maybe you can do a gallery view and record this. Here we go. Sweet Carolina. Sweet Carolina with style with the song Sweet Carolina. That was fun. Now, I, I had to pay attention to the music. Thank you. Thank you. Did, did they do the ba-ba-ba part? Did some of you do the ba-ba-ba part? No? Oh, yeah. I think I saw their lips moving. I, I, go I tried to look do at it. The I'm going to go back and look at the recording. I'll be able to tell. And I'm going to call you and say, you didn't ba-ba-ba. I just, I, I, Sean, I don't know if you have a way of accessing these additional styles. <clears throat> I'm going to say it. But I, if, I don't know if you have a way to, I was just looking at the screen going, gosh, I wish I had more, more time because there's so many wonderful styles in here to play and I just don't have the time to play them all. But um, I'm going to list some of the ones that I played and then some of the ones I have not played that I won't get a chance to and then I'll, and I'll finish off with a, a couple of my favorites here. But um, we have uh, Beyond the Sea, which I'll play for you in a moment. Um, Swing of India, which is inspired by Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra, uh, which is perfect for the, the song, Song of India. Uh, we actually have the Wabash Brass. Uh, smile, Wabash Brass, by the way, was the one I opened up with, and I used the auto fake it for that. I didn't say anything, but I was hoping someone would catch that. I did those fiddle solos using that. There's a, a style called Smiles for the song Smile, written by Charlie Chapman. It's, a, it's possible. Uh, which I'm going to uh, play a little bit for you. I don't have the song It's Impossible, but it's what's great about these styles is that if you play, they basically work with many others of your favorite songs, and I want to use that style to demonstrate how that works. Cabaret, Chicken Dancing. Oh, I got to do that one for um, uh, Sean. Uh, Gentle Mind, Always in Mind, Love is Tender, Sweet Carolina. Patriotic Ballad, Out There Ballad, Hoop the Polka, After the Love for After Love and Cheat and Country, Chariots, Doris, Three Quarter for Doris Day, Moonstream, um, Downtown Rock, Rumbolero, Snow Swing. It's just a lot of fun. I'm going to spotlight the video on Sean here. He told me whenever there's I a lot of there's a lot of stuff in there actually there too. And I, I was just going in to look and I pulled this up. Uh, Let me see. 
Those are all the different styles holy, of music holy in that moly. intro. Holy <laughs> Well, I'm gonna now do let's Sean's go and list favorite. these one by one, too. I'm going to do Sean's favorite one here because he's going to dance for you. Here we go. Oh, boy. Yes, you got to do it, Sean. so much fun you know I, when i first saw that style in the marquee i thought who's gonna like that one every time we play it everybody starts moving their arms around and uh what have you but uh anyway i mentioned the style called it's possible and this is a great style first of all listen to the introduction and if you wanted to play the song it's impossible it's absolutely perfect for it but i'm going to show you how this just works with any great standard go music but now I'm going to take that same style and watch Absolutely just gorgeous styles on here. Oh my goodness. I wish I had more time, more time, more time. I keep saying that and I just keep playing more stuff because there's, there's so many cool sounds and features on this. Um, however, I'm going to uh, finish up with a, uh, a, a couple songs here. One is, uh, I said I was going to play Beyond a Sea. I'll do that one and then a couple of announcements and then I got another style that's just absolutely uh, fun to play. Um, and uh, the style is called Beyond the Sea. And if you play the song Beyond the Sea, it's perfect. But it's a great big band sound, too, that works with basically, if you want to play a lot of those great big band songs and have a new flavor to it, this is perfect. Listen. <laughs>
that fabulous? Fabulous stuff. I'm having so much fun with this. I'm going to finish up with this uh, patriotic ballad style and uh, see if I could pull this off without the music. I usually have music when I play this, but here we go. I thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed the presentation today of the Lowry Rialto and the music and all of the fun things that it does. By the way, a little, little, little tidbit on there. If you heard that ending there where the, 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 the background was going, dun, 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 that was all done just by holding that fill like I did earlier on Downtown Rock. So when you get your Lowry Rialto, put on the Patriot Ballad, Patriotic Ballad, and then just hold that fill and you'll get that same effect. But hurry up, there's only two, and there's uh, many of you. So reach out to your staff members. We'll talk to you real soon, and thank you so much. And I always like to leave, if I remember to do it, by say, play music, keep playing music, stay safe, and take care. We'll see you real soon.